Welcome back! This video introduces you to the selection menu, which is implemented by the Comp Select selection menu. This is an Advanced Framework Core 4.0 tutorial. However, the selection menu component pretty much stayed the same when going from version 4.0 to 4.1, so this video will still help you when you upgrade it to the Advanced Framework Core 4.1. Just to remind you, the Advanced Framework Core provides a set of three select components arranged into one parent component and two child components. One of them is the selection menu component that I will cover in this video. So what is special about the Comp Select selection menu? Well, instead of toggling another component or an event, the selection menu component spawns a set of buttons, which in turn can toggle state as one state component each. In consequence, you can use the selection menu to consolidate a number of interaction possibilities into one menu. This is especially useful when you work with the visual state component. Therefore, I will use it as an example to show you how the Comp Select selection menu is set up. Here we have the actor I created in the visual component video. I will use everything I set up there without additional explanation here, so please have a look at the visual component video first if you haven't done yet. You will find the link in the description. First, let's add the Comp Select selection menu. Here we have the settings inherited from the Comp Select. For now, we can leave them as they are. Right now, we are interested in the selection menu category, which is new and specific for the selection menu component. Up here, we have a currently empty array of buttons. And this is where we build our menu in. The button arrangement defines how the buttons are arranged in three-dimensional space. We have three options here, circular, rows, and rows and columns. The tag here can specify an error or similar scene component which is used as a spawning location for the menu, provided you set the auto locate boolean here to false. Next, let's concentrate on the buttons array. Each entry we add here is a struct containing the button class of the selection button and all information on the component which that button toggles. The advanced framework already provides a number of selection buttons which correspond to the most frequently used state components. For example, this visual button, which is adjusted to work with the visual component. Have a look at the list I provided on the left when you are uncertain if a button you need exists. A word of warning though, none of these buttons substitutes a state component. Even if we say add this delete button and this play button here to the menu, nothing will happen upon selecting it unless we add the corresponding component to the actor and set them up. Let me do that shortly. Now we can assign the components to the buttons. Each needs an individual tag that is entered here on the component and then mentioned on the button so the button is able to find the component. So now we can try our selection menu. As you can see, it's spawned upon select with all buttons as we defined and oriented towards the player. You can even grab and reposition it. And it's perfect to access the looks and material sets of the visuals component. Let's go back to the actor for one minute to have a look at the manual position feature. First, we need to set the auto locate boolean to false. Now let's add an arrow component and position it here. Next, we just give the arrow component a tag and enter it here for the select on the selection menu component to find it. As you can see, now the selection menu is spawned at the defined location instead of the impact location and not, no longer turned towards the player automatically. You find the selection buttons of the advanced framework core under Blueprints, UI and Selection. As you can see, there are a few more here than I mentioned previously. Let me just show you how the other ones are used. 
All the spawn type buttons are able to spawn additional buttons. The spawn main button here is spawned as a seed for each selection menu and spawns all other buttons according to the array in the selection menu component. Spawn sub buttons are at all outer layers of the selection menu. There are three types of them. The spawn sub infinite button spawns a random number of buttons of its own kind upon select. The spawn sub visuals button accesses the visuals component for the appearance and number of buttons it needs to spawn. The buttons it spawned, spawns are of the type sub index select, which can change their appearance according to the 2D button struct we defined in the visuals component we set up in the previous video, and we'll set the new look on material set upon select. Well, that's all for now, although it's not the last you've heard of the selection menu. A video on how you can create your own custom selection buttons is already in planning. See you there, bye bye!